Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a thumbnail for your YouTube video. In this video I will show you absolutely free website where you can create thumbnails quickly and easy and online and for free. This software is Pixlar.com. Here you will see two tabs. First one is Pixlar X. This is basic editor. If you use this there is not so many options as in Pixlar E. If we go back there is another editor Pixlar E. Today we will be using this Pixlar to create a quick thumbnail. And once you click on it, it will open window like this and this is the window where you will see all your images which you have created. You don't even need to log in to start and to create a quick thumbnail. Let's start by creating a thumbnail and here on the left hand side you can see history, there is create new, you can create a new thumbnail or you can open existing image. So you never open an existing image when you are creating some design because you need that design to match some size. So always start by creating new guys and when you click click on create new here on the right hand side you will see name you can give a name to your thumbnail whatever you want to give is there guys and here you will see width and height and width is 1920 pixels and height is 1080 pixels so this is full HD format guys this is exactly what you need already for your YouTube thumbnail so you don't need to change anything there guys and here at the bottom you will see background you can click on this tab and it will open and you can change different colors of your background whatever background you would want to have to your thumbnail however you can change these backgrounds also later but we can make it blue for example for now and click create button once you have picked your background it will open your thumbnail here in this screen and your working area now as you can see is all this blue this is what will be visible on your thumbnail here on the right hand side you can see layers there is currently only one layer if you would like to add a new layer here at the bottom you can click on this plus sign and it will allow you to add an empty layer, it will allow you to insert image or it will allow you to add text. We will be inserting image but I will do it in a bit before I will explain you what else we have here on this interface because this interface is very similar to Photoshop only it doesn't have so many features but like I said for free version this is more than enough for any new YouTuber who want to create absolutely for free and quickly thumbnails and we will create one also in this video. And here on the left hand side you can see all these tools this is the toolbar where the top is the selection tool then we have all other different tools which you can come in and play around because obviously I will not have time to explain it in this video I just wanted to show this editor and quickly create some random thumbnail let's start by creating thumbnail for thumbnail we will need obviously some image so let's go to Google I will create some thumbnail about Minecraft so type in in Google Minecraft PNG and click enter and here at the top you will see first if now we are in first in all and second tab is images click in images and here you can find some image which is PNG which doesn't have background or you can find any images which you want here I will try this image to take image all you need to do is put your cursor put your cursor over this image and right click on it and click save image as and save this image to your computer I will save it in my downloads folder as you can see here I will click on downloads and I will click save and then let's go back to the thumbnail which we were creating and now to import image all you need to do is click here again on this plus sign here on the right hand side guys and here click on image and it will create a new layer there with this image and let's select this image and click open to drag and drop this image around this area you make sure that you here on the left hand side you are in this arrange tool this is very top tool here on the left hand side this means that you can drag and drop this image around so as you can resize it by dragging on corners of this image make it bigger and once you are done click enter and this image will be added and for example now if you are not happy with this background then click on this background or click here on this layer which is your background layer and you can remove it all together or you can change color of this background let's change color for example from this blue to some other color and to pick a color here on the left hand side at the very bottom you will see these two layers here currently top color is red 
just click on it and you can make it let's say let's make it black okay and click okay and then click here on this book it, book it icon and this here is called fill icon in photoshop it is called book it icon just click on it and then click on this blue layer and it will make background black now if you would like to add some text all you need to do here on the right hand side click on this text tool once you have selected this text tool click here on this black black background and it will give you a pop-up do you want to add the new text layer you say add guys and it will give you a layer like this and we will type in here mine craft okay and then we will highlight this text here on the top you will see color once you will highlight this text just click on that color and select white here by dragging and dropping so as you in this color picker you can select color here on this bar once you're happy you can select what color you want i will be selecting white and clicking ok and now as you can see this text is white if you would like to change font family of this text double click on this text next is here on the left hand side click on text bar and here at the top will appear all these text properties and currently as you can see in this drop down box there is Arial. just click on this arrow over there and it will give you all different font types which are available and here is a, a large amount of different font types which you can choose from just hover the font time and look at how text is changing and hover until you are happy with the font type of that text which you would like to see guys for example let's select this text okay i will tell, select this text and if i would want this text now to be bigger also here at the very top you will see size just click on this drop down and here this uh, this pop-up will come up where you can simply drag this bar and where you can change the size of your font let's place this text somewhere in the middle let's say here guys and then select this selection tool at the top and now click on image and drag this image somewhere also in the center and let's resize this image and make it a little bit shorter or whatever you want i can add this text somewhere at the bottom and I will, will drag this image lower and I will resize this image to be also a little bit smaller. We created very basic thumbnail for YouTube videos and you can create much much better thumbnails here by using this tool guys if you have idea what you are creating and if you play around with these tools and if you add more layers for example you would want to add more text click on text then double click on this layer click on add here more text select from font family again what type of font you would like this text to be so let's drag it here and we can place it there guys this is a free tool which you can use to create a very nice looking thumbnails for your youtube videos and if you found this video useful leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one